Preserving Building Crafts, a tradition in the Astra Museum. Dr. George Tomagea, Astra Museum. The transfer and reconstruction of about 400 buildings, homesteads with workshops, dwellings, technical installations, public utility monuments. In the 60 years since the Open Air Museum in Dumbrava Sibiului was created, led to a broad experience in the field of traditional crafts and building techniques. Adjustment to the 21st century reality motivated the Astra Museum to improve its strategy related to the preservation and handing down of traditional arts and crafts. A first step to accomplish this goal is the continuous updating of the database with craftspeople who are still performing in the field of traditional buildings. Thus, permanent field research is needed to identify the craftspeople that can be involved in deconstruction and or reconstruction of the monuments in the open air museum. The museum chose to use this method, first of all, because of the large amount of work that needs to be done in the museum on the conservation and restoration of existing monuments, and also because our aim as a museum is to preserve the traditional crafts. At the same time, because of the current economic situation in which the number of craftspeople in this field decreases, be they too old, having left to go abroad, or work in another field, it is important that the museum encourages the safeguarding and transfer of working techniques and know-how to the next generations, involving these craftspeople in the entire process, deconstruction, reconstruction, and restoration. Even the number of craftspeople that work with wooden buildings decreases, the main problem of the last few years is craftspeople who work in the field of roofs, in particular of special roofs, like those made of different types of shingles, straw sheaves or reeds. For this reason, we started an extended search to find this kind of craftspeople. The research team identified some old craftspeople that shared the techniques for building a strong roof from straw sheaves. But the main challenge in this field consists of finding the raw materials. Nowadays, farmers no longer grow alak, a variety of wheat, a plant with the most suitable stem for these kinds of roofs. Thus, they use wheat stems. Even so, the problem still remains, because the mechanical threshing of the plants leaves the stems shorter than needed. Thus, the raw materials must be ordered in time because there are few people that still use the archaic harvest techniques. With regard to these roofs made of reed, during the field research in the Danube Delta, our specialists managed to identify some younger craftspeople, together with whom they documented the harvesting of the raw materials. They also documented the construction of the roof using the traditional tools and techniques in the open air museum, replacing a degraded roof of a house from that area. The involvement of craftspeople specialized in the field of traditional buildings in the museum's deconstructions, reconstructions, restorations and workshops for specialists but also for non-specialists is meant to enrich and also to transfer knowledge related to traditional crafts. Taking into account that the patrimony in the rural area degraded, the Astra Museum also adopted a strategy of getting involved in rural communities, helping the local authorities to restore buildings. As an example, in a small Saxon village, after the Saxons abandoned their houses and moved to Germany at the beginning of the 90s, about 20 of their houses in decay entered in the patrimony of the town hall. The Astra Museum, the local authorities, and an NGO led a project to restore some of these houses. Because there were some people in the area with limited economic perspectives, they were invited to join the project. They were helped by our specialists through workshops to learn the traditional construction techniques. As part of the project, the facades of five houses were restored and the local authorities hired the local people that were trained to continue restoring the buildings. Such a strategy can only bring benefits to the community. In conclusion, we can say that the documentation, which includes interviews, 
photographs and video recordings is an important step. However, open air museums should contribute more in researching and handing down traditional arts and crafts, adapting their strategies according to the local context.